The name of this show is Parfait. This is the first of nine pieces that I'm going to show you in the series or in the show. Um, this first series of the triptych, self-portraits. I use lyrics as a background and as a way of building the faces. So the first one is called Response and it's a song from the uh, Counting Crows called Have You Seen Me Lately. The next one is Recoil and the lyrics for this one are from the song I Am A Rock by Simon and Garfunkel. Hopefully you can see the lyrics in there. I'll get a detail here in just a second. On the third piece, it's called Rebirth, and it actually is the, uh, part of the title of the song. It's called The Rebirth of Funk by Diggable Planets. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and let you see these a little bit closer so you can see some of the lyrics and maybe make out the faces as well. Again, the lyrics were used to make the faces and everything. And so I screen printed on paper. And so I did a large print and then chopped it up into sections and glued them onto these boxes. And so these are all interchangeable, so I could take this piece apart. And so it's kind of a puzzle piece. In this series, these are what I call composites. So there's several photographs um, layered upon one another. And by doing that, they, it starts to abstract the images and new shapes and textures come out. These prints are actually done on glass. And so when you look at this, there's the image that you see in color is on the first pane of glass. It's on the back side of the first pane of glass. And then the white dots are on the front side of the second pane of glass. So the image is sandwiched in between two pieces of glass. So this is composite number one. This is composite number two. Again, these are more formal, just looking at the interaction of color, texture, and um, shape. This is composite number three. In some of them, you can still see the figures that were used in making the pieces. Um, like in this piece, you can still see the arms and the legs. Um, in other ones, they fall completely out and it just becomes a total abstraction. So you can see if you can, it might be difficult to see when you're up close, you can see that there is actually some depth to the, to the box. And so um, they're shadow boxes uh, in, in a sense. So the glass is sandwiched in between there. And in some areas where there's openings, you can actually see the panel in, in the back. In the first one, it's easier to see than it is in the, in the middle one. The middle one is completely full. Where the first one, there's open spaces that you can see in the face and you can actually start seeing shadowing on the wall in the background. And so these three are composites, or what I call composites. And that's how they hang on the wall. These pieces are 10 by 10. The last three pieces are these prints that are done um, on paper. They're 16 by 16, and then glued to a, a box again, or a, a really shallow box. Um, these pieces are taking what I did with the composites and going one step further, where I even abstracted a little bit more, and then do the print. So what's funny is when people look at these, they all automatically um, start looking for faces in there. And I'm sure if you want to, you can see some. But in actuality, there's no faces um, in the creation of these pieces. Again, it just relies on, or I'm hoping that people will look at these and just view them in more of a formal way, looking at shape, texture, color, and the interaction um, with those, rather than looking for some type of familiar landscape, looking for faces. That's, it's not really necessary to do that, I don't think, to enjoy the piece. So this is one of three. This is the second piece. 
a little busier than the first one, a um, little more color. And this is the last one. Again, it's all about the, the movement, the interaction with the lights and the darks and the textures and the shapes. Give you some detail, close up, so you can see how it starts to break apart once you get closer. You just start seeing those really nice shapes. And also to give you a sense of the box that it's on. These are the three pieces together in the space. I have to back up a little bit to see them all. Just give you a once through the whole show. the noise that's the uh, hardwood floors creaking there yeah so that's the whole show that's the show parfait and the nine pieces that I created